Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, of course, this is a video solely about my dog, Mace. Um, he's being such a big sport and such a big boy. He's sitting here. Um, I would like to share a little bit of information about him. He is literally one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. He's being super calm right now because <laughs> because all of his street all of his treats are sitting next to me. So he thinks he's going to get a treat. But this is Mace. Big boy Mace. Um, he is a shih tzu. Um, he was born November 17, 2012, so he actually just celebrated his fourth birthday last Thursday. <laughs> um, he is a full bred Shih Tzu. Right now he weighs 12 pounds, um, and this is probably the size that he'll be. He fluctuates between 10 and 12 pounds. Um, he did just get a haircut. I like to keep his hair low. It is pretty chilly here in Atlanta, so I don't get it cut too low. And I also like to keep his ears low and I keep his tail low. Do you want to share any information? No? Okay. Um, so this is the only dog that I have. So he is very much so an only child. He's very attached to me. When we took him to the vet um, several times, he does... I guess you're so sleepy. He does... Um, have separation anxiety so if ever I leave and go out of town and he stays with my mom or he's with my aunt sometimes he will sit at the door and wait days until I come back sometimes he won't eat sometimes he'll cry um, because he's just super attached to me but once I get back he's super happy and he's super lovable and things just go well um, as I mentioned, I did get Mace when he was eight weeks old. Um, I got him when I lived in Auburn. He was actually a gift to me, so he's still very special to me. And yeah, I do have some of his favorite things that I would like to share. Um, his food. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Shih Tzus, but they did originate from China, and he does have a very... Um, uh, sensitive if you if you will digestive system right now he is eating Nutro and I picked this up at PetSmart it is not cheap by any means at all it's about $20 for this four pound bag this bag will generally last us about three weeks but it is organic food so it has the chicken whole brown rice and oatmeal recipe. I try to stay away from any foods that have um, corn or any of those other ingredients that will make dogs sick eventually. Um, I do pick this up at PetSmart. Every now and then I will make Mace a chicken breast, so maybe for his birthday or if it's Christmas then I might cook something for him. Other than that he does not eat table food. Um, I will give him some snacks so I may give him a fruit loop or we may give him a cracker um, uh, any of those little things like that he really likes. One food that he really loves is peanut butter and as you can see he's very infatuated with peanut butter he, he understands what it is when I pick it up but this is the creamy peanut butter he does not like the chunky at all and what I'll do sometimes is I will and this is his own personal peanut butter so we don't share this but I will give him some on my finger or I might dip one of his treats in it and give him peanut butter if he's being a really good boy so he'll probably get a treat after this video because he's being so calm um, another thing that he likes, and as I mentioned, his birthday was recently, so I picked up these cupcakes from PetSmart, and they are by Molly's Barkery. They actually have a lot of pretty awesome cookies, but these are the peanut butter flavored cupcakes, and they do have sprinkles on them, and he's getting excited, he's getting excited, um, because he can smell it, and, um, these were, I think, $4.99 for four. I don't buy these all the time. As I mentioned, it was his birthday, so it was a special occasion. Another snack. This is actually Mace's treat box. 
I picked this up from Home Goods. It was about six dollars, and I thought it was really cute. I don't like having dog treats in their package or just sitting in my pantry or anywhere around the kitchen. So I put all of his treats in this container. Um, which is good because he understands that if he sees this container he must be performing well or he must be being a good boy a big boy and he expects a treat sometimes he'll get impatient and he will whine um, for a treat but usually he'll listen so right now he, he's wanting to get down but he should be okay did you want a piece um, inside of the treat box, I'll show you two of his favorites. One is the Dentist Sticks, and this is by Pedigree. This is the beef flavored brand. I will break these in half. I don't give him a whole one, and I'll let him chew on one side and chew on the other side. This keeps their teeth clean, and it makes their breath smell fresh. So I give him one of these every morning. Another thing that's in here, and this is also from Molly's Barkery, are these um, crackers. I think these are oatmeal cookies or oatmeal crackers. They are from PetSmart as well. And they come in a big tube, probably about 50 cookies or so for $10. And they're about this size, so this is a good size. Whenever I come home and he's being good or he uses the bathroom by himself and I don't have to put him on a leash, I'll always give him a cookie. And he's thinking he's going to cook it right now. Um, this is another pretty important thing in our house. This is Mace's toy. Sometimes he understands that this is his baby. He loves the toys that squeak. Um, and he likes things that he can sling around and throw around. I will say I spend lots of money on toys because he tears the stuffing out of them. And as soon as he tears the stuffing out, he doesn't want to play with them anymore. But this one has lasted for a pretty long time, so I think it's one of his favorites. Two other things that I'll mention, um, and they are by Nyla Bone. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Nyla Bone, but they're kind of expensive bones, but they're well worth it. He's had these bones for a pretty long time, and of course it strengthens their teeth. I get these from PetSmart, and he has a big one, and it keeps him pretty occupied throughout the day. And he also has a small one, so this is one that I'll give him if we're in the car or if we're traveling. He's very stubborn. He understands lots of words. Sometimes he'll listen, sometimes he won't. So I will say, Mace, come here. Sometimes he'll look at me like, mm, I don't feel like coming. Sometimes he'll come right away. Um, some of the words that he understands, and you'll see as I mention them, he's so tired. Oh my goodness. Did you want a cookie? Did you want a cookie? So he understands cookie. Do you want a piece? Did you want a little piece? He understands peace. Where's your baby? Did you get your baby? Where's your baby? He understands baby. Do you want some water? Are you ready to eat? He understands those words. Are you ready to go? We'll be right back. Be right back. He understands that. Um, and my favorite word that he understands um, is probably kiss. Give me kiss. Give me kiss. Good job, such a sweet boy. Give me kiss. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Um, so I'm very happy and very proud of him for sitting through this entire video. Of course, since he's been such a good sport, he will get a cookie and he will probably smack so <laughs> I'll let you guys see um, he has I would like to mention he has shed all of his baby teeth so his teeth are pretty strong and healthy he did eat that relatively fast thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoy but until next time we'll see you later see peace